Praise God. 2018 Dominion World Convention is around the corner. 27th of November to the 2nd of December. And the time is 5.30 p.m. daily. And you can't afford to miss it. Saturday morning, 7 a.m. The City Healing Crusade Fresh Impact Convention Edition. And the Thanksgiving service on Sunday, 8 a.m. It's going to be an amazing time as you join these great servants of God. Reverend Dr. Felix Omobude, Bishop Brian from Swaziland, and uh, Prophet Frank Lloyd. And join with me and to be a blessing to you in this great convention. The theme is over and above. And it's going to be an amazing time of super abundance and release of great resources and revelation into the wealth that is awaiting you in this 21st generation. God bless you. Look forward to seeing you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It's a joy to come your way today with our usual broadcast on leadership today. I'd like to be taking a reading from the book of Luke, chapter number 7. I read a few verses, and my topic the next, next few weeks is the worthy leader. We are living in a situation, in an environment, and in a season of uh, political campaigns. There is so much noise in the air right now. And Nigeria is looking for the right leader, even in 2019, or let me say the right leaders. Let's see what the Bible says about the worthy leader, a leader that is worthy, and a leader that is worthy of your vote, and uh, a leader that is worthy to lead his people in this great nation. Luke chapter 7, verse 1, the Bible says, Now, uh, when he had ended all his sayings in the audience of the people, he entered into Capernaum, and a certain centurion servant who was there unto him was sick and ready to die. And when he had heard of Jesus, he sent unto him the elders of the Jews, beseeching him that he would come and heal his servant. And when they came to Jesus, they besought him, saying that he was worthy for whom he should do this. For he loved our nation, and he had built us a synagogue. Talking about the worthy leader. Now, this leader had qualities. The centurion had qualities that marked him out as a worthy leader. He was a worthy leader known by his people, known by his community, and known by everybody around. I mean, he was not a wicked leader. He was not a leader that was selfish, and all he thought was himself. Now, the Bible says they came to Jesus and besought him, saying, that him whom he should do this is worthy. And they gave reasons why they call him a worthy leader. He said, for he loved our nation, and then he builds us a synagogue. So let me begin by saying, a leader that would go all out to want to see his servant healed. Don't forget, his servant was just an ordinary servant serving him. If he was not a good leader, he would not be concerned about the welfare of these his servant. But he was passionate about the healing of the servant. How many of our leaders seek for the intervention you know, of their fears in their people? Poverty is all around. To even upgrade the livelihood of people, citizenry, by raising the bar of you know, monthly wages from 18,000 to just 30,000, it's a problem. The governors are saying they can't pay. Government people are saying they cannot pay. They are not being honest and sincere with us and with the people because they still use that same amount of money maybe every day for their recharge card, 30,000 naira. I mean, what is that? Nigeria is waiting and looking for worthy leaders. And I want to pray that God will give us worthy leaders in our nation that will lead us aright. Who is a worthy leader? Are you a worthy leader? Can your people in your community, in your constituents, call you a worthy leader? Nigeria are looking for worthy leadership. Let us pray together. Father, thank you for your word. And thank you in this period of our nation that you will give us leaders that are worthy 
worthy because they are passionate about the problems of their community. They are passionate about individuals' problems, about the upliftment and the upgrade of poverty, the alleviation of poverty in the society. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of worthy leaders in our nation. In Jesus' glorious name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you, love you, and I'm sure God loves you more. Praise God. 2018 Dominion World Convention is around the corner. 27th of November to the 2nd of December. And the time is 5.30 p.m. daily. And you can't afford to miss it. Saturday morning, 7 a.m. The City Healing Crusade Fresh Impact Convention Edition. And the Thanksgiving service on Sunday, 8 a.m. It's going to be an amazing time as you join these great servants of God. Reverend Dr. Felix Omobude, Bishop Brian from Swaziland, and Prophet Frank Lloyd. And joining me and to be a blessing to you in this great convention the theme is over and above and it's going to be an amazing time of super abundance and release of great resources and revelation into the wealth that is awaiting you in this 21st generation god bless you look forward to seeing you